guys, so in this video we're going to be creating a new VR project or a Steam VR, room scale VR project um, right from scratch. You'd want to do this um, if you want to start from a clean slate and don't want a lot of the heavy baggage that comes with templates and also to understand the, the basics or the fundamentals of how to set up a scene or a VR scene together so that it'll help you in your troubleshooting or fine tuning later on in your VR game or experience project. All right, so you have uh, start off with um, the engine. So a new project, either blueprint blank project or C++ basic code project. So either of those um, would have or would be fine. And you'd start off with a very clean um, project and the steps would be the same. The, I normally uh, prefer um, doing it from basic code simply because then I have the ability to both use um, Blueprint and C++ from the get-go. Um, you can do the same thing for, for Blueprint blank, uh, but you just have to do an extra step to convert it to a C++ later on if you want to add um, C++ code in your project. All right, so for, for this um, demo, we'll start off with new project Blueprint um, blank, and we'll have... Um, desktop maximum quality we'll have no starter content just keep it clean so we'll call it then clean project or clean vr project right. so create project and we'll wait for the editor to load up all right so um, since we have the floor here um, we'll have to adjust it to zero 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 um, for vr all right has to be um, set at 000 for um, a VR level. And the player start can remain at 000 at the Z112, so it's a bit up. So when you spawn in the world, you're you're in this, so you're just standing on top of the floor, all right? And to represent the um, your character um, in the VR world, um, we'll need to create a pawn. So add new blueprint class, pawn, and we'll call that VR pawn, right? I will click that, and we'll um, set the base eye height to zero. So very important for VR. Compile and save. All right. So let me just snap this in there, so it's a little bit easier to see. All right. So we'll add a couple of components here. So first off, we'll need a capsule component. The capsule collision. There. I'll just set it as capsule there and we'll need to mimic the height and kind of like the width of uh, an average person so 96 and ooh, okay 96 and 22 should be fine all right and of course you can tweak the, the radius a little bit if you want it a little bit um, thicker depending on your game and such um, yep and we'll have to create a scene um, where we can attach the camera to because we need the camera to be starting here at the floor level um, that's because um, with the Vive headset it starts off at the floor here so we need to put the, the, the camera here and we'll need to adjust a couple of settings so that the controllers come up here so you'll see how it all fits together in a while so just yeah, like compiling and saving as I go all right, so we'll add a scene. All right, leave it as scene. Then we'll add another component called camera. We'll snap the camera in there. Click the scene and put the scene down to negative um, one one zero. We have started up one one two one zero. So, yep. So that looks good. So it's starting up at the floor there. All right. So then, compile, save, and then we need to add a couple of components in, which are the, our motion controllers. So let's add the motion controllers. We'll, add, we'll need two of them, one for the left hand and one for the right hand. So motion controller, motion controller, okay. name it R for right name this for L for left 
All right, so motion controller left should have in the hand left. Motion controller right should have hand on the right. All right. And we'll just plug it into the scene like so. All right, so then you'll need a, a mesh for your uh, motion controller so you could see it. So either a skeletal mesh if you want to do animations or a static mesh if you, um, yeah, if it's just a static mesh and you don't want to do any animations for, for your motion controllers, all right? So we'll add a static mesh there. So just name it really quickly, static mesh left and static mesh right. Sorry, static mesh. Getting ahead of myself. Static mesh. All right. You can also just duplicate, of course, the, um, the meshes if you want to. So, just really quickly. All right. So underneath um, the motion controller, you'd want to have a static mesh there. Okay, and that's um. It's pretty much it for a very simple um, project. And of course, you'd want to add um, a static mesh there and there to plug in. So at least you can see um, the controllers or um, whatever mesh you want there um, to come up. All right, so then we'll just save the level. So just leave it as new map, that's fine. And now we'll need to create a game mode. So I call it VR game mode. All right. So in the VR game mode, we'll change the default pawn class to our newly created VR pawn. We leave everything else the same. That's fine. Go back to the map and that's it. And just double check on the world settings. World settings, we do a game mode override to the new game mode. All right, and a bit of fine tuning would be, let's just go to settings, project settings. All right, so let's just click on maps and modes, editor startup. Let's just set it to the level that we just created. Game default should be the same. Um, default game mode, we'll just change it to VR game mode. And that should auto populate a lot of the stuff we've just done. All right, we are pawn. And that's it. Oh, and that's the, the basic setup anyway. So um, I also prefer doing it, um, adding this uh, additional stuff in, settings in. So engine, under engine and rendering for VR projects, um, instant stereo there, let's setting that up. And I guess also making sure that on the um, plugin section that you have VR, virtual reality enabled, specifically at least this one, okay? So it's gonna ask for a restart once we change those settings. And let's just wait for it to restart here. All right, so that can kind of restore those. All right, so now you have a pretty basic um, VR setup that should work. Um, before we go and test it out, um, let's just do one final tweak that I'd like to do. So in the VR game mode, um, this, um, doesn't have any impact with testing, but when you actually package the project, it does have an impact. So if you do um, open full blueprint editor here, what I like doing is on the, let me just move this event tick here. All right, on event um, begin play, I want to enable H and D and enable that. This ensures that when you package your VR project, and you start running it uh, as an executable, um, it immediately goes to um, VR mode instead of like a, like a traditional 2D or 3D um, game, right? 
So small thing, but could save you a lot of headache in the future when you're rushing off um, to deliver or ship a project either for a game jam or for, you know, for, for an actual um, client. All right, so let's give this baby a whirl. Okay, so now let's um, try adding a static mesh for our motion controllers here. So at least we can see them in VR. So I'm just I just picked up 5VR FBX. It came from um, if you install Steam, you can find a an OBJ file, an object file, uh, which you can then convert to an FBX file so that you can import it here. All right, so just let's do a translation on the Z for 90 degrees. Just for me, no importing of materials and textures. I'll do an import. I should have yep. By VR there and we just have the static mesh on the left to point to that and static mesh on the right to point to that static mesh compile and save all right and sorry let's just go back there look at the viewport and you should see um, yeah your motion controllers there should be good to go all right Save. Oops, let me just see why that's coming up. No. All right. Just zero that out. So rotation zero zero zero. Rotation zero zero zero. Of course, you can tweak this um, depending on your mesh. Save it. Viewport. Let's just see how it looks. Yep. Looks much better. Perfect. All right. Save. And then let's do a play. On the level, see how it goes. there you have it. So um, a quick and easy way to create a VR project or a room scale VR project right from scratch and very, very clean for you to add um, new functionality and stuff on. All right. So in the next video, we're going to be looking at adding um, my plugin. So the Runeberg uh, VR plugin so that you can add um, basic VR functionality such as grabbing movement and teleportation. All right. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.